What's going on guys? Smart Helping here bringing you some calculations. Uh, before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel. And this worksheet will be available in the description box below if you want to mess with it right now. Here we go. Compounding average growth rate. To calculate it, you need a few things. And we're just going to get right into it. So ending value. Beginning value. Periods. That's it. And then you could calculate the growth rate required to get to from one value, starting value, to the next over n periods. This is n, ending, beginning value. So let's say your beginning value is 20. Let's say we're talking about revenue. Let's say 1,000. And then your ending value was 50,000. And now I want to know. Let's just give this a little formatting. I want to know over in this it happened over eight periods. What was the growth rate to get from? Sorry, your ending value is going to be bigger. What was the growth rate to get from one thousand to fifty thousand in eight periods? Is the question. And this is applicable normally in revenue growth. You'll see a, a, maybe a five-year forecast, and you want to say what was the compounding average growth rate from year one to five. So it would be four periods. Uh, so let's let's do it. It doesn't matter what, period, what numbers are in between these. This is not relevant. So here's the formula in E7. Equals bracket or parenthesis ending value divided by beginning value, close bracket, raise to, open parenthesis, one divided by the number of periods, minus one. That's your compounding average growth rate. So what is it? So there you go, that's the calculation. You can use it whatever you're doing. Let's talk more about it though. Let's say you've got a period. It could be years, months, whatever. The rate, the growth rates, whatever it had to grow in, grow within each period to get there. Let's say we've got uh, so eight. So we start with period one at a thousand. Then there's random numbers between let's say two thousand and. Just some random numbers here, and then let's say we raise it up to thirty-five, whatever, and then finally we get to fifty. So what this thing is trying to do is say, well, revenue or whatever. It doesn't have to be revenue; it could be anything. You've got your starting value here. Ending value here, number of periods here. And no, even though there's nine periods, 1,000 only grows eight times, right? So, you know, 1,000 growth. One, growth two, growth three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the total periods, you're not going to you're going to minus it by one because you just want the amount of times that your beginning value grows. Now let's, let's uh, prove it out. So you've got a thousand times this growth rate we calculated. Plus here. And then if you do that again, So that's one growth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, when I let go of this, this ending value in P8 should equal 50,000. There it goes. I'm multiplying by 63.07% compounded each period. So you can get the smoothed figures, 
or you could just get the the rate. This is just, and I can't actually explain the math. I don't know why it's the ending value divided by the beginning value, and then raised to one over the number of periods. I think the one over number of periods is tr is where you're getting like if you multi let's say two raised to the power of three is two times two times two is six. So I think this means we're trying to solve for that power because we're trying to figure out the compounded rate. So there's something with that. And I'm not a mathematician, so I can't really tell you, but I know this is the calculation. So real easy, just three inputs, ending value, beginning value, periods, there's a growth rate of that uh, set of assumptions. And then you can see it proved out between this situation. Normally, like in, in a financial model, if you had a five-year model, you can figure out the compounding average growth rate from year one to five. And that'll give you some some sense, better sense of how you're actually growing revenues over uh, over time. This is a compounded rate, so you're compounding what you grow at every period. Like here, 1631 is is then to grow it again, multiplied by 63% plus 1631, and then again you're you're always raising. So there you go. Now, if you change this, let's say the uh, ending value is only 1,100. Now it's 1.2%. Uh, we'll go back to our original. Okay. So that's about all I can say about compounding average growth rate. Um, this is how you can calculate it when you have, you know, the beginning and ending value in the period, and you want to know the percentage. So pretty simple I don't know if I want to do any other content here uh, don't f oh also so check out smarthelping.com for advanced templates uh, I've got over 100 there I've been building models for what now five five years I've been building and selling templates if I but I've been working on stuff like that for 10 years uh, if you want to support more and join I do a live uh, stream every Monday at 5 um, come check that out. You can also become a member of the stream for $4.99 a month. That'll allow you to see all my past live videos of building advanced templates, as well as um, talk in the live chat and all that. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. I probably, don't hold me to this, but I'm probably getting a cam on Friday. So, and I've been doing videos here on YouTube on the Smart Helping uh, channel since, well, I started in 2012 doing a different industry, but it kind of fit right into financial models too, so you only see videos from 2016 because that's when I started doing models. But I've been doing YouTube videos um, for a while, you know, now eight years, and I've decided I'm going to get a cam. And do my live streams and stuff with a cam on. I figure it can't hurt. Uh, so, so that's coming. I'm going to try. This is a free template. This video will be open to the public right away. Most of my videos have a two-day delay for non-members. Um, but this is a free one. So everybody gets to see it right off the bat. I might do more of these. I'm going to try to do a lot more like little tutorials on calculations that I think people look up a lot. Um, like I even looked this up uh, the other day just to make sure. So I think this is good to have up here. Uh, compounding average growth rate. Here's the math. Here's your inputs. Here's the math. It's a calculator. Real simple. Um, all right. I'll see you guys on the next one.